If proof of work is your thing, you're definitely going to want to stick around for this. We've already got him all set up. Uh, stream is still going. Everything's good, right? We can just go one, from one right into the other. I'm just going to go ahead and pass off the mic to you. You can start a couple minutes early. Um, anyone who wants to speak with me, I will go ahead and be back there so we don't uh, interrupt his talk if you have any further questions. Thank you very much. Thank you. OK, so um, I will just get started. Is uh, 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 my recent research about the proof of work. Um, so as we all know that uh, nowadays proof of work is uh, criticized a lot for being used massive of energy um, of the uh, of the world. So here is um, some estimations. Probably you all have been um, have already seen this before. So this is the uh, energy cost of Bitcoin. Uh, is like 0.3 percentage of the total en uh, electricity produced by the world uh, every year. Um, I I'm not going to say that is uh, definitely very bad or something. Uh, maybe uh, security has a cost. Maybe this is kind of the cost we uh, we need. I don't know, um, but. Uh, for my work is we're trying to reduce the energy cost uh, to see where we can re uh, where, where, where we can re uh, can we reach uh, so the first question is um, do we really need this much uh, energy um, so here I have some uh, observations the first observation is the hash rate of Bitcoin uh, actually doubled this year right uh, so the the interesting thing is, if it's secure in the early of this year, if Bitcoin is secure in the early of this year, uh, then it means right now, actually half of the energy is uh, wasted uh, if we only care about the security of the blockchain, right? Um, the second point is uh, the hash rate of Bitcoin cash is only uh, 2.7 of uh, BTC. Uh, so it means actually it's very uh, easy to uh, seems it's very possible to do a 51 attack for BCH, um, but we don't see uh, it happens yet. But only uh, several known miners they <laughs> did once to reverse some um, buggy transaction. Uh, but here the situation of for BCH is a little bit more complicated. Uh, I just did the fact uh, it might be that. Uh, is kind of protected by some other uh, facts. For example, Bit Bitman is actually the biggest, uh, you know, uh, the man behind BCH. Um, and also, we have another trade off between energy consumption and the uh, confirmation time. Uh, if we want to really reduce the energy consumption and uh, uh, accept that we can make the confirmation time a bit uh, uh, longer, it's also a way to reduce energy consumption, right? Um, so uh, my my talk is about how can we reduce the energy consumption of uh, proof of work uh, by just improving the algorithm. Uh, is we we don't argue about how much energy should we really uh, have to secure Bitcoin. It's just given that we have Bitcoin network right now, have Ethereum net network right now, can we improve the algorithm and the re uh, and then reduce the energy consumption? Uh, so, proof of work actually has two parts, right? Uh, uh, man, many two parts. So, uh, the first one is the hash algorithm. Uh, there are uh, different uh, uh, options to use uh, nowadays. Uh, the second part is the uh, algorithm itself. Uh, there are different type of um, uh, algorithm available. For example, the Bitcoin is uh, one of the simplest one, and then Ethereum has something uh, more complicated. Um, so, uh, in the talk, I will uh, discuss both two parts and to see how can we reduce the energy consumption. So, the first is the hash algorithm. Um, I want to know if re a hash algorithm matters in uh, the energy consumption of proof of work. So, first, let's also take a, uh, a look at the example of Bitcoin and the Ethereum. So, here I took two points. Um, from a website, I don't have time to draw the uh, graph for the whole year. Uh, but actually, I 
I selected randomly several points, and the uh, the result seems to be quite close. So basically, the result says that uh, for the manners, uh, every for every dollars the manners uh, gets uh, from the block reward, the electricity cost um, for Ethereum is around 80 percent of the uh, electricity uh, electricity cost of Bitcoin. So it, um, by looking at this. Well, we can only say that actually Ethereum right now is uh, a little bit uh, uh, energy uh, efficient than Bitcoin, but it actually uh, we cannot say definitely the hash algorithm is the key point because it could also be that because the market cap of Ethereum actually um, not the not 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 the market cap uh, because the reward of of Ethereum is much lower than Bitcoin, uh, so it means. Miners might want to spend more energy uh, mine Bitcoin because the revenue, the absolute re revenue is still higher. Um, so here is uh, a bit more uh, analysis of the hash, alg uh, hash algorithm, the role of hash algorithm in energy consumption. Um, so first, in theory, actually, the hash algorithm should not matter because in theory, the, uh, you know, the marginal cost should be equal to the mar uh, marginal re uh, revenue. So uh, the, uh, if we assume that the energy cost dominates the mining cost, then it means that a hash, hash algorithm shouldn't matter, but, right? Uh, but in practice, uh, I think a hash algorithm matters, uh, but I'm not sure uh, how much uh, this, because the, um, uh, the cost of hardware is uh, different, and also the cost to uh, build a mining farm and also uh, a maintain, uh, or maintain a mining pool uh, it's different. Personally, I feel like, uh, for example, uh, memory bound or uh, memory bound or like even storage bound uh, proof of work might be efficient uh, than uh, than like uh, than the pure ASIC uh, um, hash algorithms because uh, there will be some like uh, delay uh, time in the uh, memory bounded algorithms. Uh, so. The first part is about hash algorithm, then the second part is about peer algorithm itself, uh, peer W algorithm itself. So, um, how actually what is um, peer W algorithm? Actually, the role of peer W in uh, in blockchain. So basically, it it provides two things for blockchain. The first thing is uh, decentralized randomness. Um, so here it is. Uh, it means like it's a per, uh, permissionless network, and uh, every node can join it freely. Uh, but still, we have an uh, algorithm to select um, a lead, a uh, random lead, by using uh, PLW. Um, so I think uh, still PLW is one of the most robust way to provide the decentralized randomness. So for PLAs, um, you can do do this, but the problem is, uh, the uh, either you let all the like stakeholders to um, to be able to be the leader. Then this uh, the problem is uh, the process will not be a uh, like poison process. Then it means like there will be a lot of uh, blocks proposed in a very short amount of time. This is definitely not okay, uh, and the other type of uh, POS a uh, POS. The algorithm is um, the network need to collect uh, more than, for example, two to uh, two over three uh, signatures from the network. So this problem is uh, this approach has the problem of um, uh, like uh, uh, catastrophe uh, crash uh, issue. It basically means like uh, the network can never collect um, enough signatures on. Uh, in, in in one block for for one one block, um, but for proof of work, it's really uh, a processing process, and uh, is very robust. Uh, the the second thing about PLW is it um, provides very high um, needs very high mining cost uh, to my uh, my new block. So this kind of uh, provides uh, security for proof of work uh, for the blockchain. Uh, so here is the tricky. The, the thing is, actually, for decentralized randomness, we don't need um, 
too much of energy. Uh, it means that actually the hash rate, when it reaches a set uh, sufficient enough of a hash rate, the block time will kind of be uh, average, very average. So for this, we don't need too much uh, uh, energy cost. But for mining cost, actually, is um, for Bitcoin, for Ethereum, is uh, highly related with uh, energy consumption. Uh, so uh, let's see what the uh, mining cost means uh, in the security of blockchain. Uh, first, the mining reward uh, is the in the ideal or in the theoretical um, case or in the equilibrium case, the mining reward actually will be equal to the uh, mining cost. Or if you treat it, in, if you consider it in the economic setup, you can say the marginal reward is all, uh, revenue is always equal to the marginal cost and the uh, energy dominance is. Um, so it means if we give less reward um, from, from the blockchain, then it means the, uh, there will be less energy cost. But the, the problem is, of course, it's not secure. The mining work is uh, lower. Um, the mining reward depends on two things the number of rewards and uh, also uh, the coin price. Um, so let's see how Bitcoin and the Ethereum decides the money rewards. So Bitcoin, uh, it ha ha uh, halving every around every four years. Uh, so actually, it could reduce energy consumption if the price cannot double during the halving, because then the actually the cost of mining reduced. Uh, but the problem is uh, why it's four years, it's not three or five years, and uh, why the the reward should be like halving is not or uh, it's not by other uh, ratio, and Ethereum has fixed amount of block reward, um, so the actually the problem is the energy consumption grows linearly to the coin price. If uh, let's imagine that if the uh, price of Ethereum goes up, uh, like always goes up, then the energy cost will always goes up as well. Uh, but of course, Ethereum, they uh, very like to do hard focus. So when they see something um, is like not uh, sustainable, they might hard fork it. Uh, but the thing is, um, we might need to consider a, a better way or more adaptive way to uh, change the, um, the manual reward and also make it more sustainable in the long term, right? Uh, so what is the relationship between uh, rewards and the security? Let's consider two types of uh, adversaries. The first one is the revenue-seeking adversary. So for example, it can, uh, it, uh, the, uh, the attack could try to attack the network so that uh, it could get more block rewards by uh, reward the other uh, uh, new blocks. Uh, and uh, also it could, could do double spending uh, attack so here, for this kind of attack, if we can reduce the revenue, then it means the security can uh, get higher, right? Uh, the second uh, type of adversary is called the uh, sabotage uh, adversary. Basically, this attack, it does not care about the value of the network. It just tries to destroy the network. Um, so for this kind of attack, if we can increase the upfront cost for many new blocks, then we can get higher security. Um, so, uh, as I said before, for decentralized randomness, we don't need too much uh, energy cost. But uh, uh, for a security reason, we still need a very uh, very high energy cost. Uh, but actually, we can do better. We uh, we can get decentralized randomness with proper energy cost, uh, and we still keep the um, uh, keep the reward or keep the uh, upfront cost at a uh, very high level. So the trick is we can move the cost of mining, uh, part of the cost of mining from the uh, physical world to the network side. Uh, so here uh, in the research we say that we can move the external cost to the internal cost of the network. So it, it, uh, external cost uh, mainly is energy consumption, uh, but it also includes some other like uh, hardware in, uh, investment. The internal cost is basically you spend coin or burn coin 
or anyway you 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 like uh, or even distribute your your coin to the other uh, node in the network in this way your uh, the the coin the coin of the miners got reduced uh, so by this way, the miners could shift uh, part of the uh, external cost to the internal cost, but still the sum of the cost is still the same as before. Uh, this uh, research by uh, several uh, uh, people from um, Israel, they proposed uh, the first work of this to um, reduce the energy consumption of uh, Bitcoin and Israel. But they Mm, the work is very early and the, um, it has some uh, drawbacks. The first one is only wo it only works for B Bitcoin and it ha have like uh, several parameters to to tune it. And also uh, the distribution of the coin is not so um, practical. Uh, I will not uh, go deep into it. Um, so here I will introduce my work. It's called the proof of less work. So assume that the coin base reward for um, for a blockchain is one coin, just one coin. So the miner actually can uh, claim to only get alpha coin by uh, burn one minus one minus alpha coin, uh, so that you could get some extra weight to the hash value uh, it produced. So basically, the idea is, um, uh, in theory, I need to spend almost or close to one coin to get the block reward that is also one coin um, and the, all my spend is mainly the energy cost in the physical world but here i only spend uh, part of the money in the physical world uh, uh, in the same time i burn like one minus a coins one minus alpha coins inside of the network so for me the cost is the, is the same um, but the the uh, the hash value will be weighted, so in this way is kind of very very similar to the uh, to the physical world. I will let explain the difference. Uh, so here um, we can introduce a weighted function is called the f um, applied to one minus a. So basically, if you uh, burn one minus alpha coin, you'll get uh, f uh, applied to one minus alpha weight. Um, and uh, we can easily, based on this um, weight formula, we can easily calculate the maximal, uh, the optimal strategy for the miner to uh, select uh, the alpha. Uh, of course, we have plenty of uh, s like uh, options for for the uh, weight function. So here we can see two very typical um, functions or very common functions. The first one is called the linear uh, proof of less work. Uh, with this one. Actually, the um, the optimal strategy and also the equilibrium strategy is to choose alpha to be uh, one plus gamma divided by two. So uh, it means like the um, I first need to burn around half uh, or zero point five coin and then mine in the uh, real world so that I can get one coin back uh, if I mine uh, a new block in the network. And the second type is called the exponential proof of less work. So basically, the weight is a, a exponen uh, exponential function. With this, the equilibrium strategy for the miners is to uh, is to claim only one divided by gamma uh, coins, and the rest of coins will be uh, burned. So um, with these two type of um, algorithm, the external cost can be reduced to a fact close to one divided by two or or, or zero. Uh, but in practice, it's a little bit different uh, because proof of uh, proof of work um, first because the energy cost for different miners is different, and uh, also people's uh, how to say uh, estimation of the um, the return of the coin in long term is different, right? Some people they mine the coin. Uh, many uh, maybe uh, it's just for the long term uh, return rights they mine the coin they keep it and uh, uh, for sale late uh, it depends so it could uh, 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 vary and um, so by 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 saying this i mean actually proof of work is not just um, for security actually it's also a way uh, how to say it's a kind of way to distribute the coin um, so, kind of here, you need to balance the external cost and the internal cost so that you can uh, 
like incentivize people to join the network. Otherwise, it, uh, if the mining profits, for example, if the ex external cost is very, very low, close to zero, the problem is it will go to the uh, equilibrium um, state very, very quick. The convenience will be very, very quick because the bar of mining is so low, everybody can join it, so the profit will go to zero. Then the hash rate will stay very low from the very beginning, and then it, it means like in long term the hash rate cannot in increase. Uh, but at this point, the security is not decreased. But in long term, is uh, you you cannot uh, uh, grow your security. So that will be a, a problem. Uh, so in practice, you need to um, uh, set proper lower bound for alpha. Uh, so here is a demonstration of the um, energy consumption uh, with the reward. So in um, for the normal POW, so it's actually the energy cost will be uh, like linearly proportional to the um, reward, uh, and for linear PLW it will be halved, and for uh, expen exponential PLW it can be like logarithm to the um, to the reward. So in long term you can actually reduce uh, dramatically amount of the um, uh, of the energy cost. So f let's take a Bitcoin as an example. Uh, so Bitcoin price right now is, uh, so at this stage, Bitcoin uh, spends like 0 0.3% of the uh, energy for um, uh, of the uh, total electricity produced by the world. If uh, assume that we don't have a, we don't have a halving and the price of Bitcoin goes like 10, times up, and then it means the energy consumption of Bitcoin will be 3% of the total electricity produced by the world. So this is definitely not going to be OK. Uh, and actually, in this way, it, it will make the mining become a, a bit uh, more complicated, because the profit is high, and the, uh, the government or uh, people will start to blame like it costs so much high of energy, right? Uh, it's hard to uh, definitely we we can see that it's not a sustainable way, right? Uh, but yeah, with PLW we can uh, reduce this dramatically, and it's also very um, adaptive. You can set up the low band, and then you can uh, uh, you can make a, actually the low band you can make it. Um, you can decide it based on the actual many um, hash targets. Uh, this will be kind of related to the uh, real-world coin price, and then you can make it very, uh, uh, how to say, aligned with the real-world cost. Uh, so now let's take a look at the security part. Um, so because if you apply PLW instead of PL uh, uh, proof of work, it will actually uh, reduce the entry barrier of money. Because here you don't need to invest uh, um, like uh, that amount of hard work as the pure proof of work before. Um, so actually, it could uh, make the network a bit more decentralized. Depends on your setup. So it will definitely introduce more people to join to to try to get uh, uh, the rewards. Uh, if we Take first to take a look at the revenue seeking adversary in the uh, because because in the equilibrium uh, states mining profit will always be close to zero so the security is uh, is the same as the proof of work PLW is always the same as PLW but in practice is because mining still is a little bit uh, or like depends on the the timing uh, is always pr uh, profitable um, but as I said, that's actually proof of less work will lower the mining um, barrier. So it will means like the competition will be higher. So the revenue will be slightly uh, lower than before. For example, uh, let's say Bitcoin right now, the revenue is like one coin for each block. Uh, then the miners, they reduce the energy cost to 80 percentage of right now. So the reward is still one coin. Uh, but they need to burn a little bit but, uh, to keep the reward still the same as uh, one coin. Uh, then in this case, actually, there are still some uh, extra mining uh, hash power not being used. 
and the, the miners see this still uh, mining is still profitable, then they, they will uh, use the extra mining power to try to uh, get uh, more reward. So in this way, the revenue will, will uh, actually uh, reduced, so the security will get higher. Uh, the second type of adversary is the uh, sabotage ad uh, adversary. So uh, the upfront cost for one block for PLLW is still one coin because you need to cost alpha coin in the physical world and the one minus alpha coin uh, burn it. So the, it's the same, same security as PLLW. Um, so in practice, it's, it's a bit more subtle. Uh, if we just consider one block, so uh, actually PLLW will increase the uh, upfront cost because the revenue gets lower. So it means you need to spend more. Uh, but it's a bit more the subtle because um, if let's say if the attack want to do a 51 attack, um, then it means okay. Uh, then it means actually if one of the branch got uh, attack, attacked, it got reworked, the, all the mining cost, all the uh, energy cost in that branch will dis uh, disappear uh, forever. But here is because we um, use less uh, energy there, and then it means actually the, uh, the cost, um, if one of the branch get disappear, actually the cost is lower. Uh, but we, here we can uh, make a trade-off. Um, so here is a bit, uh, how does that controversy? Uh, because some people say that when a branch or when some block is get orphaned, we don't want the miners to, uh, how to say, to, to waste the hash rate they cost, right? But some people say that uh, because this could be a, a attack, we want this to be uh, wasted so that the network is uh, uh, secure, you know? Um, but here for PLLW, you can always make this trade off. You can select both. Uh, according to your kind of preference. So the summary is um, we propose an uh, algorithm to improve PLW, basically to reduce the energy consumption. Uh, and it could, it's very simple and it could work for all the uh, DAA. It means we can use it for Bitcoin, we can use it for Ethereum. Uh, and DA is pretty important for uh, security of uh, uh, PLW work, uh, network. For example, selfish mining is very profitable for uh, Bitcoin in theory. I'm not, I'm not saying in practice. Uh, but with, for like other type of um, DAA, like Ethereum actually is less profitable. Uh, and the, our algorithm, you only need to add just one parameters based on the uh, the actual hash difficulty, so it's very um, mm, very simple and also automatic. It's also very adaptive to the price change, and uh, also the sale pressure is lower because the reward uh, actually is lower. You, you only get half a coin back, but in in Bitcoin, it's like you burn, uh, you spend the earnings, and then you get one coin back. Uh, I or 12.5 coin back, and then you need to sell this in the market to, to keep money, right? Uh, but with this, the sale pressure is lower. So I think it's kind of uh, make the system can uh, be more sustainable, especially when the cost, uh, when the price is, is you know, is going, going down. Um, yeah, the most important thing is it actually reduce energy cost without sacrificing, uh, sacrificing security. Uh, there are some something um, for discussion. Uh, as I said earlier, is we can s uh, burn one minus alpha coin first and then we receive one coin. But actually you can uh, design the coin, make it, uh, make the miners receive only alpha coin directly, then the miners don't need to uh, burn the coin in advance. So, but the, the, with this change, the upfront cost will be different. So it's kind of a uh, trade-off, if you think Still, like alpha coin is enough to secure uh, your network against the sabotage adversary. You can do this, but it's optional. It depends on the really the uh, the the trade-off, the how the designers made uh, make the trade-off. Um, okay, thank you. That's that's my work. Yeah, I'm ready for questions. Thank you.